So this is what I wanted to show with regards to the conflicting information that Gerbin sends out. So what you see on my screen here is the instructions are the instructions that came with the 12 volt battery harness fuse installation guide. You can see it there. Um, and what it says here is that um, you see it gives the draw, the amperage draw for each of the items. So for gloves is 2.2, socks 2.2, jacket 6.9, pants 4, and vest 4.2. And then down here, it gives you the color that you should use, a fuse, and you should use the lowest rated fuse that's rated above the total of all of whatever it is that you're wearing. So um, violet 3, tan 5, brown 7.5, red 10, blue 15. And what they leave out here is that there's also a yellow in the bag that's 20, all right? So, so that's that. But then when you open up some of the gear, for instance, the jacket, the jacket has a label on it that um, gives you information. And I figured out what they've done is just round down. So you see it's still six um, instead of 6.9 for the jacket. It's four instead of four. Uh, I think it's four. Yeah, four on the other. Um, two for the gloves instead of 2.2. Two for socks instead of 2.2, which is on, on the, the other thing we just looked at. Uh, socks, I'm sorry, gloves are not six. Gloves are uh, six point, uh, yeah, gloves are 2.2. Uh, pants are four. Socks are 2.2 and, glo and uh, gloves are 2.2. All right, good. Uh, and then jacket is 6.9. So here it talks about if it's over 12, you just use yellow. Well, if... I am wearing, according to the instructions on, if I'm using, if I'm wearing everything. So let's say I'm wearing the jacket, I'm wearing the pants, I'm wearing the gloves, I'm wearing the socks. Not the insoles, but the socks. So let's say I'm wearing those four. According to this, it's only 6, 10, 11, 12, 14. Um, so using a yellow on 14 is not recommended because it's under the amperage that you're actually drawing with the comp or the combination of your gear. So what I've figured out, um, and I'm sure you've all figured it out too, but just in case there's folks out there who haven't, the instructions that come with the 12 volt battery harness fuse installation guide, these, these, this paper here go by this because this is the exact amperage. It's not a rounded number as we saw on this. The jacket here is rounded to six, but it actually draws 6.9 amps, okay, which is almost seven. So that's a big difference. They should have actually rounded the jacket up to seven, but they didn't. So what I figured out um, was, here's what I came up with. So jacket only is 6.9, which would be a brown, which is 7.5 amps. The jacket plus the gloves is 6.9 plus 2.2, which equals 9.1, which is a red, which is 10 amps. The jacket plus gloves plus pants equal 6.9 plus 2.2 plus 4 equals 13.1 amps, which is the blue. And then if I'm wearing everything, jacket, gloves, pants, and socks, that's 6.9 plus 2.2 plus 4 plus 2.2 equals 15.3, which equals yellow, which is the 20 amp fuse. Um, I wrote to customer service to ask about the conflict in information and they agreed that it's, it's extremely confusing the way they gave different information on different pieces of instructions from the same company. Um, but I guess what they were doing over here is just saving money on printing. On this sheet here, the one that comes with the gear, they just rounded. But, what, but they should have rounded up here because that one amp makes a difference. So they rounded here and they gave you the actual specs here on the instant on the on the wiring harness, the uh, battery harness. So just letting you know, that is what I'm using. That's what I'm using. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go out to my motorcycle and show you how I'm going to have my thing set up so that I can change it out anytime I need to in the middle of a ride. And I'll be right back. All right, welcome back again. So here's what I plan to do with my motorcycle. So the battery 
harness, fuse, installation, the wire that you connect to the batteries, that came with the bag. And that bag had all of the fuses in it. These are all of the fuses, okay? I am going to keep all of these fuses in my motorcycle because one thing I forgot to mention up here, I said jacket only is 6.9. Well, if I only wanna wear the gloves only, that would be 2.2. .2. So then in that case, I would use this one, which is three, purple. So what I'm gonna do is keep these in my bag, along with this piece of paper. I'm gonna fold up this piece of paper and keep it in this baggie. And I'm going to keep all of this in my saddlebag as well as a screwdriver. So now anytime I need to change my fuse, all I have to do is take off my old shit strap, um, remove my seat, and what I've done on my motorcycle, if you'll look here, I had this under this um, engine control module. I had it under there. But by having it under there, what that means is I have to unscrew these every single time and lift up this plate in order to grab that to change the fuse. So what I did instead was fed this up through here and now it's standing up here. Now this is as good as it can get because the wires are extremely short. What I wanted to do was lay it down right here. I would just love to lay it right here on top. That way I could just pick it up open the cap, pull one out, put another one in, lay it back down again. But if the wires are not long enough, especially the positive. The positive is, is a really short wire that goes under here. So this is the best that I could do is stand it up. But by doing this, I avoid having to take off this every single time when I stop my motorcycle, when I'm leaving out somewhere. Now all I need to do, let's assume my cap is on here and I have a fuse in there. Let's assume I'm changing my gear up and I know what gear I'm wearing because I'll have this checklist. I'll have this in my, just a notepad, little, little text document. I'll have this folded up in my little baggie here and I'll pull it out and I'll look and I'll say, okay, what am I wearing? Okay, I'm wearing jacket and gloves, so I need the red. So I will pull the red out, uh, which is the 10 amps. So you see 10 amps and I'll come right over here to the motorcycle and I will open this up and I will slide this bad boy into here And I'm actually keeping this in here for right now because this is what I think I'm going to be wearing until it turns uh, colder outside is just the jacket and gloves. So it's in there. So now I'm just going to close this cap and I'm done. And the seat will fit perfectly on top of that. So that's what I'm doing. It's an easy change out now. So all I have to do is grab my bag of fuses, which I'm going to have in here with my gear, have my bag of have my bag with fuses in here. I'm gonna pull it out, read what I want, grab the fuse, take my seat off very quickly, open this, pull out the fuse, put in the next. Put in the fuse I took out into my bag and put that back in my saddlebag. So that's what I'm doing. Um, well, I didn't wanna to have to go through a huge thing where I had to bring my, my socket wrench with me with the star socket every single time and store that and all that. So this is my method. This is what I'm gonna do. And I think it'll work fine. Um, the seat has plenty of space on the bottom of it, so it's kind of a, a gap here, so it'll fit over top of it without squishing it. And so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully this helps. Um, so I want to make a video on the, the conflicting, what I consider conflicting fuse information, but I wouldn't call it conflicting as much as incomplete. If you buy the jacket and pants, there's labels on them that come attached to the pants and jacket and those labels show the tags I just showed earlier and um, that are rounded down and so you're not getting an accurate amp count the, the accurate amp count is going to be in the instructions that come with the battery install harness uh, wires so based on that I've created this little sticky and let me pause this while I um, fold it up and and do exactly what I'm talking about and I'm also going to keep this now in my in my motorcycle just to be able to unscrew the the strap that goes over my seat. All right, I'll be back. All right, there we go. So my little notepad reminder of how much draw each item takes is folded up in here. 
as well as that you saw it's got the combinations of things that I might wear with the, with the actual fuse that I need to use for that combination of gear. And that's here. So I'm coming over to my motorcycle. I'm gonna slide that boy, that bad boy right down here in the side. Keep it down there. That way, when I need it, I always have the fuses that I need. I'm just gonna slide it down there far enough. Good. That's down there. And then I will get my screwdriver and I will put that here beside my. There we go. Slide it right down the side there beside my touch up kit and my sun screen and my board i have a board for gravel and dirt that i use and that board has a string on it so it allows me to throw it to the ground and then reel it back up so i don't have to get off my motorcycle i can kind of kick it into place with my foot it's a kickstand board so anyway that's it just wanted to show that um I'm not gonna show putting the seat back on, but that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm just gonna put everything back together, but now everything is set up and easy to transfer, to change those fuses over when I need to. So have a good one.